Hello, my name's Amanda and in this Suddenly Autistic video I want to talk about my relationship with the disability community and how I realised that I am prejudiced against the community that I also now feel a part of. Um, which is weird, but being human is weird, so I guess we'll just add this to the list of weirdness. So, um, as I've been going through my autistic diagnosis process, I've been sharing bits and pieces on Facebook with, uh, with my Facebook friends, which include family and um, friends that go back from, from my childhood, so people who've known me my whole life. Um, so it's no surprise, or it was no surprise to me, that when I was scrolling one day, I saw a sponsored post from a disability network, Women with Disabilities, um, so an Australian charity that were hosting a webinar on burnout, so specific for disabled women. Um, now I saw this come up and I thought, wow, that looks great. So the impulsive side of me went click and put it in my calendar. As Facebook people or people using Facebook might know when you put something into your Facebook calendar it's visible for everybody to see. So um, when I did that, when I did that and thought wow this is going to be good, put it in, lock it in, um, I felt good and then immediately afterwards, almost the next few minutes, I started to get this buyer's regret as it were, even though I didn't have to pay money for this, it was a free event. What I was struggling with at that moment is um, how I was um, relating to the to the term disability and disabled women, women with disability, by 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 acknowledging the event and and participating or, or saying I'd participate in the event, I was admitting something about myself that I hadn't actually said out loud before or fully um, processed actually at that point, and that's why it's taken me a little bit of a time to put this video or to make this video because I wasn't even sure that I'd fully understood what I was doing or what it meant to me. So on the one hand, I, um, I had already admitted my disabilities and difficulties to everybody without shame and in a very open way. But on the other hand, I hadn't fully um, linked my personal experience with that of a disabled person or with the dis disability community. So I was seeing myself still as an individual. I am Amanda who is strong and capable and independent and a worthwhile member of society who can, you know, make money, live in her own house and do everything herself with no help, aren't I great? Um, oh, and I have ADHD and complex PTSD and autism. I'm autistic. So that's kind of how I was seeing myself and it felt like it hit me like a bit of a brick when I realised that, um, you know, adding that label of being disabled was actually challenging that mindset that I had. Now, ironically, it took um, me going to this online event and participating and listening to the other women for the penny to click and for me to realise that actually what I was experiencing was, um, was the curtain drawing open and me seeing my ableist mindset. So I was being ableist against myself. Um, so I was denying my own reality on one level and making myself conform to a norm that was for um, neurotypical people and then judging myself against it. And how I've got to this point in the past is by sucking it up, carrying on, trying harder, working more. And of course that led to burnout, which is what the webinar was about. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm honest that I fully um, come to terms with um, my own invisible to me prejudices and feelings about disability and about the disabled community and um, about being a member of that society and that group if you like and um, my feelings about society in general and um, ableism etc this is all very new for me um, and it's quite surprising that I can hold this cognitive dissonance of having two conflicting views in the one head, you know, of the, the disability community will be um, a help to me, it's something that I belong in, that I feel comfortable in, but also, uh, and I can help them as part of that community with lived experience, but also that then that's feeling a bit weird because I've always been this other person who was anything other than that, and that actually my norm 
is wrong and that this is right, this uncomfortable new reality is right. So that's what I wanted to talk about because um, I, I, I just felt that it was really important that, they, that it's put out there that, um, yeah, these, this is the weirdness of it all really. So getting diagnosed and then understanding what it means and then seeking help and seeking your community and, and actually accepting yourself or, or me accepting myself as I am is not a straightforward path of steps. It's very much a... Um, a process that goes backwards and forwards and in and out and round and about and and digs up all kinds of things that you perhaps like that I didn't even know existed I had no idea that I had such an internalized prejudice against disability especially given that um, you know I lived in a family with disability growing up and that um, I, I am disabled and, and I've accepted that about myself on one level but I guess it just plays to that um, that ego, I guess, of that I m must still have or do have, which is not a bad thing, but it's that term, you know, well, they're disabled, I'm different, I just have this. And, and really what I need to do is get over myself and just accept my whole self and that's the way that life will be a lot easier for me. But like I said, knowing that and doing that, two different things.